So, I tried a new camera setup, and uh, for whatever reason, the sound is off, and I'm wondering, is this happening because of my computer, or is there a problem with that camera? Um, so, uh, this is a test, and we're going to see. I have a lot of video uh, footage that I've taken. Um, over the last few weeks of ducks and the kittens and, uh, or now it's just the kitten, Susie, um, I introduced you to her and she has gotten bigger and she and Buddy are working things out daily. It's, uh, quite the, um, it is quite the experience with, um, Introducing your little dog to your new little kitten. <laughs> so, um, I think I will go here and say um, a big welcome to all of my Marfugal family that came over from the video that was played on Marfugal News. Um, I am Betty Demers. Adam does not know how to pronounce my name. He's tried on more than one occasion. <laughs> I am Betty Demers on YouTube. I am Batriska on DLive. I'm actually Batriska on YouTube. YouTube also. But um, I go by Patriska over on DLive. And uh, I'm still um, very new to that and figuring it out. So I would like to thank you. Uh, new people. Uh, I am homesteading in the desert of Arizona. Um, I came here kicking and screaming out of the mountains of Virginia and landed in Y, Arizona, which is um, some of my most viewed videos are from there. And a lot of people think that I'm still on the road. I am not. I have bought land and I live uh, I have lived on this land for two years. Well, it's almost two years. Two. Okay. I hear ah! 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 No. I am an helpless time getting this video made. Um, so, I'm kind of explaining myself to the Marfugal people. <laughs> and explaining the Marfugal people to my other subscribers that have been here uh, via Alan's channel. And a girl um, commented that she'd kind of gotten out of the loop. And she was back. She knew me from Alan's channel. Uh, another group knows me from Adam's channel <laughs> of Parable of the Vineyard. And uh, uh, Alan, Alan Horvath. And then, um, and Cody Howes. I get a lot of people from there. And I get emails from people wanting to know how to live on the road and how to live off-grid on the road. I don't live on the road. That's why I left kicking and screaming, because I didn't know where I was going to land, and I didn't want to be... I'm just not much of a... What am I? Nomad. I'm not much of a nomad. <laughs> I am quite the adventurer, though, because I like to live in different places and different... Uh, in different places in uh, America. I don't want to go out of the country. Because I think we got enough culture in this country <laughs> that you don't really have to leave. Just go to a different state. Entirely different culture. So, um, I guess I could make a long video because I haven't made videos in a while. And uh, just to kind of let you know where I've been. So, let's just have a chat. So, Phil, um, my friend from Quincy, he showed up a, uh, on a Saturday. And that was at the 1st of November, and since then we've had Thanksgiving. Um, I, oh, you know what, I think I might, I don't know if y'all, did y'all ever see my hand injury from the cat? Because that totally messed up me cooking for Thanksgiving. She kind of went off on me. Because I, I made the mistake of getting between her and Buddy. Little Susie and Budster. And, um, yeah. But see, you can't even see it now. 
but my hand swelled up and did all kinds of hurtful things. I might have said something about it. I don't know. You know what? I, I talk to my girls a lot. Sarah, whose uh, tree fell on her house, and they're still dealing with that. Um, Molly did something to her foot. Up here on this, this part where your toes connect, and it's a big old knot. Get that fixed, Molly. Bless it. And then Emily... I need to show you that video of Emily um, that Emily produced. Um, she has a, a, a really nice little homesteading channel, my Emily does. And she shares a lot about preserving food and, and making uh, plant medicines. And recently she has uh, developed alopecia, a particular form. And um, I don't know the rest of that name. She can correct me. But I will also leave you a link to her video. Um, alopecia is uh, you lose your hair. And Emily has lost her hair over the last uh, couple of months. And we have been sharing a lot, me and my girls, um, with all of their things going on, and I just get all talked out. I'm sorry. So how are y'all doing? Um, you know, I'm still, I have gone out. I actually went out to a Mexican restaurant. I got proof. <laughs> Wait till you see. I did, I went to a Mexican restaurant. restaurant. And I have to tell you, all them kittens, the mama cat, there were so many sets of cats, and I'm not going to go all into it because it's been good grief just about the whole time I've been here with the mama cat and working my way into getting me a little kitty that I could call my own that's all sweet and lovey. Look at her. <laughs> she hardly ever bites me anymore. I even bought her a little bed, and she plays on it. But at night, she wants to sleep so close to me, she wants to smell my breath. And she's on one side, and Buddy's on the other. And I'm afraid that Buddy's going to be alarmed in the night like he is sometimes, bark. And then, and then she gets all scared, and I end up in the middle of it. No thanks. But anyway, when I'm not worried about that, it's really kind of fun and cool to have a little kitty cat. Phil is here, and um, we'll be here uh, for probably, wow, time's passing fast, but he wants to be back at Quincy for a while um, around Christmas, and uh, and then he'll, and then he plans on coming back, so we'll see how that goes, because you know what, I, hey kitty Susie, hey little Susie, I don't talk about it much. But I think I made a really big statement about my political views on Election Day. Oop, I hope I don't get flagged. <laughs> YouTube's going crazy, man. What is it? So those are my basically my political views. I'm, I'm not interested in politics anymore. Mm -mm. I am going to focus on a Yeshua and the Torah um, and the truth that is found in Yahweh's word. And I encourage you to do the same because I am not a teacher. I sometimes direct you to videos that I have learned really good stuff from, um, like the Patriot Nurse. Recently, I have found a Native American woman who gave two of the most awesome talks. Very encouraging. It also led me to uh, seek out exactly how do you prove you're Native American? <laughs> Turns out I don't have to. <laughs> um, according to the um, 
Bureau of Internal Affairs. Bureau of Internal Affairs. I am Native American. Not that I'm trying to get a scholarship to go to college or anything. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it is who I am. It's a big part of who I am. And it always has been. That's why they say, yes, I am. Um, my artwork, that's what the, the light flashing and changing every now and then. It, it, it's, I got the windows open. Here it is, middle of, is it middle of December? Not yet. Do y'all know all the things happening on December 14th? In the sky. Let's see if I can name them. Um, it is the peak night of the Geminids a meteor shower. It is also the day that there will be a total solar eclipse, which just so happens to be at exactly the halfway mark between the Great American Eclipse uh, in uh, 2016, not 17, excuse me, the one in 2000, August 2017, and the one that's coming in the spring of 2024. So this one is smack dab in the middle. <laughs> Not funny. Yeah, that's it. And the big one. Do y'all know about Jupiter and Saturn? Jupiter, the king planet, and Saturn are going to be in so close of a, is that a conjunction? They're going to be so close, it's going to look like one star up there. On December 14th. All on December 14th. Now, if you listen to any of the news, which I wouldn't advise you to do that on a regular basis, but if you do, you're going to know that um, that's a day they're um, projecting to begin... Or with the, you know, the thing that you can't, you gotta have it to buy and sell and do all your stuff. Go on airplanes, get on a bus, go to a restaurant. All those things. Yeah. That's supposed to happen on December 14th, too. Wow. And then. <laughs> It's my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, look at that cute kitty, but isn't that the day that the Electoral College does their thing? Oh, wow. <laughs> Life's a roller coaster, man. You know, I'm only here to... I don't know. If I can distract you from all the crazy for a minute. Get you to think about something else. Look at cute little kitty. Look at the sky. And admire the clouds. That are there. Such as they are. <laughs> and. If you get a chance. Get up for that sunrise. I don't remember seeing the Big Dipper in the sky in the morning. I just don't. <laughs> and it is in the sky in the morning. When the sun comes up. In the eastern sky. Like, right there. Just saying. <laughs> so, y'all, we got the greenhouse so close to being finished, I can just about taste it. I've even planted a couple of plants in there. I'll show you that next time. Oh, yeah, I'll show it next time because I'm having, I'm always having technical issues because I'm old and I don't know how to run this stuff. So, don't, you know, there's no point in me getting a better camera. I can't even figure out how to use it. I can't figure out the GoPro. I can't. The sound is off. So I'm going to try to fix it. 
I don't know. I was just showing you stuff outside. So maybe I'll just put some music to it. and I don't know. Who knows? It'll be fancy video. Or as fancy as I can get anyway. So y'all. Can you believe it? December. December 2020. Fast approaching. 21. Wow. The strength to endure. The wisdom. The courage. I pray. I pray those things for you. Strength. Courage. Wisdom. I love y'all.